Yo, 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 what's going on with all you Birds fans? Y'all already know who it be. It be your boy, Reese Dizzle, the great. And hey, welcome to another episode of Bird Watch. And if you're new to this channel, please do so, ladies and gentlemen. Y'all already know what's coming. Can you share it? Subscribe it? Like it? Because it's something about the bird watch that you like. And be sure to hit that notification bell too. Because you know, when I do videos like this, when you hit that notification bell, you will always be in the loop. Now, let's get to it, shall we? Now, what an impressive performance the Philadelphia Eagles pulled off last Sunday versus the Tennessee Titans. And we all thought that King Henry was just going to come into the link and run crazy. Well, that just didn't happen. A beautiful performance by our quarterback once again throwing for 380 yards. Mr. Jalen Hurts, I mean, man, come on, man. If this ain't the MVP of the league, please tell me who it is. Because I just don't see no other quarterback doing what our quarterback is doing right here in Philadelphia. Well, that's all behind us now. We showed that, hey, we can pass the ball. We can run the ball. We can dominate on defense. And I said it, y'all. We didn't have to change our defensive scheme. All we had to do was tackle well. And I think the Philadelphia Eagles answered that bell. Now, here we go again, y'all. Here we go again. We got to take a trip this week, and we're going down the turnpike to Medlife Stadium to face off with the Giants. And it's kind of unbelievable that here we are deep into the uh, regular season, and this will be our first time seeing the New York Giants. But we already know what the Giants are going to do. The Giants are going to come, they're going to be aggressive, and they're going to try to blitz and blitz and blitz our quarterback. Hey. A lot of teams done tried that, and Jalen didn't hurt them. And I always say, Hurts, please don't hurt them. But I guarantee you, I'm not saying that the Giants won't be successful, but I'm definitely saying this. The Philadelphia Eagles will figure it out, and if the Giants continue to blitz, Jalen Hurts and this offense will figure out a way to punish them for doing it. And once they can't blitz anymore, uh-oh, here it comes, Batman's baby. We all know what A.J. Brown bring to the table, and boom, there goes Swole back then. And uh-oh, I know they ain't asking for a Slim Reaper to get involved. And next thing you know, here comes Skinny Mad Man, Devontae Smith. I made a bold prediction last week saying that Devontae Smith would be the player of the game. And when the game first started, I thought my prediction was going to be right. But it turns out that A.J. Brown does it again and took care of business. Once again in Tennessee. But hey, let's stick to the script and let's stay with New York. Now, the Philadelphia Eagles, as big as we've been playing and as good as we've been playing, we cannot look past this game, ladies and gentlemen. And for these reasons, for sure. We know that the New York Giants is going to try to blitz Jalen Hurts. You know, we're going we gonna to be serious. We, we, we know they're going to bring a lot of pressures. And we, we know those pressures is going to come from all type of looks. I mean, multiple looks. I mean, they're real good at what they do. And, you know, they, they, they really, really, really play with discipline when it comes to defense. Now, as y'all all know, the last time the Philadelphia Eagles went to MetLife Stadium, it was one of Jalen Hurts most disappointing games he done had in his whole career. And I don't think none of us as fans has forgot about that. I don't think Jalen has forgot about that. But we all know it happened. Jalen know it happened. And I'm looking for Jalen Hurst to knock the New York Giants ass out of a playoff spot. I mean, for sure. Now, the last time the Philadelphia Eagles went to MetLife Stadium, it was one of Jalen Hurts' poorest performances as the Philadelphia Eagles starting quarterback. I mean, you know, he left that game, you know, really, really, really looking like 
the worst quarterback I had ever seen. But we flushing all of that because that was then, bitches, and this is now. So I want to let everybody know that don't look for nothing like that to happen this week. This is one of Jalen Hurts' biggest games because I believe Jalen Hurts has never forgot that game as well as we ain't never forgot that game. And we ain't going to hold him hostage over that game, and I know Jalen Hurts ain't going to hold himself hostage over that game. We're going to beat the Giants' ass. And I think this is Jalen Hurts' way of acting a fool. If, if it was any performance I think our quarterback has had this season, this game right here is going to be one that he give us a good, good, good show. I truly believe that. But all the Philadelphia Eagles got to do in this game, y'all, is play this game very, very sound and play discipline. I'm looking for James Bradbury. I think James Bradbury has a secret indictment going on with the New York Giants. I mean, I checked out his press conference, and um, he was pretty much saying he know it was a salary cap move, and it really wasn't nothing personal, but... I don't see how he could say that with a straight face and not feel some type of animosity because it ain't like he was the highest paid player on the New York Giants roster. You feel what I'm saying? You cut the people that you just feel like ain't don't have the value to fit your team. I mean, it is what it is. I mean, hey, uh, James Bradbury could play that nice guy shit all he want, but I know deep down he wants some true damn revenge. And everybody on this team know that when you play against your former team, especially a team that tried to tell you that you wasn't worth your value to them, you got some kind of animosity. Whether it's business related or not, you know what I'm saying? If you love the organization and you thought you was doing your job well, and then when it came down to letting somebody go, you didn't think it'd be you, you feel me? You thought maybe, hey, I ain't the only player on the team that got some money. There's a whole lot of players that got some money. So they basically didn't value your position. They didn't value what you was doing for that organization or for that ball club. And they release you or they trade you. And yes, it's a personal thing. Don't let nobody fool you. So, yeah, I think James Bradbury had a secret indictment and a little animosity for the New York Giants. And I'm going to bold predict one more time. And this time, I hope I get it right. I believe James Bradbury get a big-time turnover in this game. And they're going to regret, just like the Tennessee Titans regret, of getting rid of A.J. Brown and... They regretted it so bad they fired their damn GM. Ain't that crazy? But either way, the same way that they regret that they let go of A.J. Brown and A.J. punished them, the same way the Detroit Lions regret letting Darius Slay walk out the door and Slay showed them that he was big play Slay. Everybody is going to feel it this season when it comes down to the Philadelphia Eagles. So yes, James Bradbury will do something big in this game. So I believe James Bradbury got a chip on, on his shoulders and I believe that Dan, Dan, Daniel Jones better stick to running the ball this week because it's not going to be pretty if he try to throw it in to, to his receivers. If he try to deliver that ball in the air, I'm telling y'all right now, big play slay, Bradbury, hey, Devontae Maddox is back. Somebody going to make a big play, and I think it's going to be James Bradbury. How about Reed Blankenship? Reed Blank Blankenship playing good football. You know what I'm saying? How can we not talk about Big Reed? <laughs> Dar Darius Slay Common Ghost. So Ghost been playing some good football in the place of uh, Chauncey Gar Gardner Johnson. So, you know, it's really good to see this team come together, man. I just love the way this team has been put together. I love what How Howie Roseman has done for this organization and putting this roster together. I mean, the coaching staff, Nick Sirianni, I just hope the Eagles just keep doing what we got to do, keep flying high. And once again, we got another mountain to climb. And let's get to the top, baby. And hey, let's move to 12 and 1. And, and you already know, as always, you guys. Till next time, enjoy the game, and as always.